We'd like to call uh, Ken Brock, Environment Canada. He's been called as a witness. Thank you. Hello. Sorry for the rear view. My name is Ken Brock. I work for Environment Canada. If I'm uh, Coast Salish for a day, you need to know where my people come from. My parents were born in the Okanagan. They go back there two, three, five generations. My parents were raised in Vancouver. I live on Main Island in the Salish Sea. We heard some big actions today. Oh, thank you. Thank you to you all for being here. Thank you to the Coast Salish for this ceremony. This is a powerful ceremony and I am I'm inspired, I'm filled with awe at the responsibility and the power. I want to thank Chief Wheatsome for her words. And I want to thank uh, young Mr. Harding over there for the heart with which he read the message. I think you got the spirit, thank you. And thank you all for being here and listening. So we heard some big messages, some concrete things that we can do. We heard that we need to, we heard that we need, we heard that we need to work together. That we need to work in partnership. And I want to think a little bit about what partnership means. As I was thinking about the responsibility that I've been asked to carry here, to bring the message of this call to action back to our constituencies, back to my department, our, our department's partners, I was thinking about what are the partnerships that I need to bring that message and I need help. I need help from all of you to bring that message. And we need help from each other. I was reflecting on how far we've come. How far we've come since these, these shared, these joint conferences have started. And the, the 15 years of shared ecosystem-based management that we've been doing here. There have been some tough times for each of our agencies. Sometimes we've had to let the lead go to somebody else. Sometimes people from Washington have come up and said, wow, those guys in BC or those people in BC, they've really got something going on there. We need to catch up. And we've been able to inspire them and pull them forward. And sometimes it's been the other way around. And you can inspire us and pull us forward. So thank you. Somebody said one of the things to reflect on is what maybe didn't go so well. Somebody asked me, where are the decision makers? We've got some decision makers here. We have Coast Salish chiefs. We have Coast Salish elders. We have elected representatives from the states. We have some elected representatives from Canada. They're here. We need to speak with them. And I want to acknowledge the Coast Salish chiefs for their time and their presence and their listening to the science and the policy. That's important. These are busy people. They have lots of things to do. They're here because they think it's important to be here and to share in this conversation. So thank you. Hmm. One of the things we heard was an urgency to act. Some of the, the, the calls to action really spoke to me. Uh, I'm not going to go into them. There's too many to go into. But when they come out, I really urge you all to look at them, to take them in, to choose one, maybe more, that you can do. And to go back to what Jennifer Lash said on Sunday night, I would invite you all to choose one project that you can lead and make a difference. It doesn't have to be one of those that came out from these three days something that matters to you. 
Um, I do a lot of leading of projects. That's what I do in my work. So there's a few there. I have another project. And if I do nothing else well, if I do nothing else well, if my daughter grows up with a connection to place and a connection to nature and being at home in the Salish Sea, then my project will have been a success. Thank you. <laughs>